Now at six for you, lawmakers are expected to address police uh, police accountability and reform during a special session this month. Today, in fact, we got our first look at what that bill could look like. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live right now. He's at the state capitol in Hartford breaking down all the details for us. Mike. Yes, Mark, this is a very broad bill and it touches on a number of the areas that we heard uh, protesters talking about over the last couple of months, including transparency, uh, accountability, use of force, and even it try, uh, possibly taking away officers' uh, protection from liability. And the bill also addresses training. I am confident that we can get something through the legislature that is significant, that makes actual change. Leaders of the legislature's Judiciary Committee unveiling a draft bill Friday on police accountability. This includes a number of reforms people have demanded during protests in the wake of George Floyd's death in May at the hands of a Minneapolis police officer. Among those changes, police use of force would be investigated by an independent inspector general. Other changes impact training. Officers would be required to undergo training on complicit bias and crowd control. They would also need to be certified from the state's Police Officers Standards and Training Council. The council would have the authority to discipline officers for certain misconduct, up to decertification. Now that we actually have the language down on paper, we need to give those ind same individuals the ability then to respond. The bill includes a number of other changes. Officers would need to demonstrate that any use of force was necessary and that they had no other options. They could also lose qualified immunity, which protects them from civil liability. Dashboard and body cameras would be mandatory. Police would have limits on the equipment they can get from the military and there would be a ban on quotas for pedestrian stops. The legislature is expected to go into special session on this issue this month. Governor Ned Lamont said in a statement today, the time is now for meaningful police accountability reforms. The Connecticut Police Chiefs Association said today that it's still reviewing the bill, but is concerned some portions will lead to increased costs. Republicans helped draft the bill, but are waiting on public input before endorsing it. There's a lot of moving pieces. Uh, there's gonna be some things that different folks out there are gonna have concerns with. Now, no date has been set yet for that special session. Again, lawmakers expect that it will be this month. They want to have a public hearing beforehand. Of course, that will have to be done virtually. Reporting live from the Capitol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.